Well, I think people have been fascinated by whales for, you know, for millennia, and it's partly because they, you know, from the very, very early days of people going to sea, they, they, they saw these huge animals that didn't always attack them, that, that weren't nearly as threatening as they thought they might be. And we've learned, of course, in, in recent years that a lot of whale species are, are, are very intelligent. They've got huge brains. Um, they're long-lived. Uh, they live in an environment that's very patchy. There's food here, and they might have to swim a thousand miles or 500 miles to the next food patch, you know. And they're highly social. So all of those things kind of predispose them to developing, to evolving uh, a high state of intelligence, and they really have. So some species, like killer whales, are arguably, you know, up there fairly close to people. In various populations that we study here in British Columbia, and a couple of populations that have been studied else elsewhere, miscarriage rates are typically up around 50 percent or, or higher. What's interesting and, and sad to see is that a lot of those miscarriages are the ones that we're aware of are fairly late term. So a female will deliver a fetus quite late term that may be perfectly formed and, uh, and it won't live. And then, in addition to that, neonate mortality or mortality of brand new calves is also qu quite high. So between miscarriage rates and, and neonate mortality, with killer whales, it's over 50 percent. I might be accused as a biologist of anthropomorphizing or using human emotions to describe an animal's behavior, but I feel just fine doing that in this case. Um, I've seen enough of this kind of behavior that it looks like grief to me, and that's the simplest explanation. When a female loses her calf, She'll, her behavior entirely changes for, for hours, days, weeks sometimes, and the pod's behavior changes. And they're experiencing the loss. Female killer whales have been seen carrying dead calves a number of times. I, I've seen it myself. I did some research in Norway in, a number of years ago, and we saw a female carry a calf for about five or six days. It was the saddest thing. Um, initially, she was pushing it along, and finally she got to the point where she was carrying it crosswise in, in, in her mouth. It's easy to imagine how you know, attached they are, and I think it's natural that they wouldn't want to, to let go of a, you know, of a newborn baby.